Hey, what's going on guys? Lethal Flux here, and today I'm going to bring you a video of the up-and-coming March 1st ban list. Everybody's been raving and talking about this ban list, and I feel like, as a Yugi tuber I need to put this up on my channel and discuss it with you guys. Um, I know there's already been a lot of videos and discussions out about it, but I feel like it should be on my channel, and it's healthy for the channel. And um, talk about my thoughts and an in-depth discussion on the ban list. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, First of all, I want to say that I'm. It's kind of confusing to me that they they didn't really touch Mermails and they didn't really touch Dino Rabbit and and they smacked the shit out of Windups. I mean, I mean, granted, Windups are pretty damn broken and they're pretty damn OP, but um, I feel like that deck was the only deck to give the Mermails and other decks competition. Um, I think they should have hit Prophecy a little bit, um, with Priestess at least to two, because that's just overkill for them, but, um, yeah, let's get into the ban list. So first we have Sangin, banned, um, wow, 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 I did not see this coming just because it's such an old classic card, then again, it, it makes sense, it makes complete, total sense, Sangin is completely broken, it's an extreme, just, you can toss it in any deck and call it good, um, with the banning of Sangin comes, um, just, it's just, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but it does touch Dino Rabbit a little bit, but not as much as as we all would like it to. Um, Dino Rabbit players are just jump for joy or something that, that that Rabbit didn't get hit to one or Macro didn't get hit to two if they're playing Macro Rabbit. Um, Sangin Band, um, it does, it does, It's I feel like it's healthy for the game to have Sangin Band because he's just such a major floater and you can toss him in any deck. He searches out your hand traps, he searches out Tor Guide, so you have a setup for Tor Guide next turn. He searches out Rescue Rabbit, which is completely ridiculous because it's a, pretty much someone rescued Rabbit. And then you have a walking Solemn Judgment on legs with Lagia, and you can just, it, it's GG for your opponent if they don't have anything to answer. Um, and, yeah, um, on to the next band card is Wind Up Zen... Windup Carriers and Mighty, I completely understand this. Didn't see it coming. Um, I didn't see Konami hitting the Windup Archetype this hard, but I, I definitely understand why they could. They banned Zen Mighty. It's just a major toolbox in the deck, and um, it needed to go, to be honest. It was way too easy to be like, well, good game, opponent. I got Zen Mighty out first turn with my Shockmaster and all my other shit. I mean, see if you can come back. Um, it did need to go. Um question is, are windups dead now with the bands and Mighty? Absolutely not. Windups are absolutely not dead. There are new loops out there. Um, I'm sure most of you know about the MX Saber Invoker um, loop where you can still first turn Shockmaster. You can still first turn um, or OTK. You can still do that. Um, there's even one that involves TG Warwolf. Um, Summoner Monk is a main card in that. It is less consistent, I will say this, it is less consistent, but it works, and it gets the job done, and they are still very playable. Um, I can see wind-up players main decking maybe a few tech cards to help speed their deck up, but maybe they'll they'll gold Sark the, uh, the Magician, or maybe they'll do something to add draw power. There's even Tanky out there, you can grab your, uh, your rabbit to hand, and um, it, the deck isn't definitely isn't as powerful as it once was with Wind Up Carry Mighty um, banned, but we'll see how it does during the next major events. On to the limited cards. These are the cards that are hit to one. We have Wind Up Magician. Um, completely understandable. Magician was definitely the one that needed to get hit, and um, I mean, if they hit Shark to one and you had three Magician, well, who cares? Normal Summon Magician, Reveal Shark, Special Summon Magician Effect, get another Magician, Change Shark Effect, Magician Number Two Effect. That's exactly why they banned it. Ma magician was just way too much of a, a recyclable card um, that they had to hit it to one. And we can still recycle it today as a wind-up player. Um, I know that you can definitely still recycle the wind-up magician just by detaching and bringing it back with wind-up rat. Surprised they didn't hit rat to two at least, because rat is one of the really overlooked cards in the deck. But um, yeah, uh, magician definitely needed to get hit. Maybe not this hard um, with the Zen Mighty Band. I, I can see them hitting it to two and shark to two maybe. Maybe that would have worked. Um, but it, it will definitely hurt the windups um hard uh, on to the next card one day of peace oh god thank you jesus one day of peace now only gives you a single day of peace <laughs> as your Yu-Gi-Oh channel said i'm very happy about this card getting hit to one no i didn't really use it um so all you exodia burn evigishki ftk decks out there or anything like that just screw you okay 
You get one one day of peace and you're going to fucking deal with it because it's one day of peace, not I fucking win day of peace. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the next card, Solemn Morning hit to one. Ah, I don't agree with this one at all. Solemn Morning is way too healthy for the game and with all the aggro summoning that you have going on now, um, it was really one of the only ways to stop Gores, uh, Trag, and other during damage step hand traps that you can just toss down. Um, uh, it was an out to Lagia. Um, you could just warning the Lagia. Now with only one warning and one judgment, um, maybe people can toss in Black Horn, um, Black Horn of Heaven, uh, for uh, the second warning. But the thing is, it's just not as good, of course. Um, I can see people running Seven Tools of the Bandit, um, Black Horn of Heaven, um, and other spell speed three counter traps. I don't really know. I know there's more out there. I don't really um have them on my mind right now though. Um, on to the next um set is going to be the semi limited, which is the ones that are two. Sukiyomi to two. Okay, whatever. Um, don't really care about that one. Not much to discuss. Sure, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. Thunder King Ryo to two. Um, most people only made deck two anyways. I think. Um, maybe heroes. I don't know. Here that would hurt heroes way too much. Um. I don't. I don't really know. Thunder King to two. I think that's a good choice. I don't feel like it needed to happen because not a lot of people main deck three Ryo. Um, I don't think anyway. I mean, I might just be sounding stupid right now, but yeah. Um, Thunder King Rider two is fine with me. I don't. I don't care about that. Advanced Ritual Arch two. This is awesome. Um, I really think maybe Konami will be bringing forward more ritual monsters into the game since they're making this bumping it up to two. Um, I mean. Let's we'll see what happens with Advanced Ritual Arch Two if it's two OP. Um, of course they're gonna hit it back to one or whatever. Um, really excited to see if they're gonna make any new ritual monsters um, in the next few sets coming up here. So yeah, Advanced Ritual Arch Two, uh, in my opinion, is fine. I guess. Next cards um, are going to be the untouched ones of the format now. We're going into Spore at three. Okay, I mean they have their tuners now. I guess that's from one to three that's a huge jump i mean they're not like oh let's test it out at two first no they're just gonna go straight to three fuck it yolo screw two we're just gonna go straight to three um spar three is okay because he can only use the effect once per duel um i mean it's a it's it's a tuner that the plants get um i i would actually like to make a plant deck so i'm kind of happy about the, um sport of three so right on sport of three is okay with me Kalu to three uh this is cool i would like to see black wings come back um as an archetype i think the black wing archetype is very cool it's very um tuner heavy um clue to three seems like a good idea i might even run black wings now this one lumina to three i am very excited about i will be building light swans with the new set um what is that new uh, judgment of the light i think it's called coming out soon uh it's gonna be the next set i believe and with lumina to three expect a very heavy light um the light people running light cards in their decks with lumina to three um people will run lumina uh three lumina because it's just a very good card and um all you lights one players out there um probably smiling right now because lumina is to three and you're like ha 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 we got lumina to three but as long as they don't bring charge to two or three, I will be okay because that card is fucking ridiculously broken. Charge of one needs to stay. If they ever hit charge to two, I'm I'm quitting. I'm gone. <laughs> Unless they bring Regeki or Demok back, but that's never gonna happen. On to the next cards. Uh, um, three smoke signal. This is completely. I don't even know. They really. They want Sam's to stick out. They want Sam's to still be competitive, and they are. They're really really good deck. I took Sam's to the regionals in um. Seattle, and I got 69, ironically. Um, not that good of a place, but it was my first regionals, actually. And um, to hit 69 with six Sams, I, th I feel like that's good. I was kind of happy about that, that I got 69. But Smoke Signal to three doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, as if the deck wasn't consistent enough, now you're going to give us a Kageki, um, an Elder, a Kagamusha with the Smoke Signal? I mean, there's no... You use it. It's not like you can't special summon the turn you use it. Or it's not like you have to discard a card to use it. With it to three, I feel like it's going to make the deck way more consistent. I don't know what Konami was thinking. The deck is already consistent enough. Um, we didn't really need three smoke signal, but I'm definitely happy about that, and I will take that all day. Three smoke signal is fine. Minecrush to three. Uh, very happy about this. I will be side decking three, possibly, because there's going to be a lot of cards um, 
in the next set that we'll be adding to hand. I mean, there already is with the prophecies and the other crap. Um, Minecraft to 3 is very healthy for the game, especially since warning is only to 1. So if they add something ridiculous to their hand, you can be like, ah, mind crush, peace out. And yeah, um, that was pretty much the whole video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, give it a like if you liked it. Comment down below and subscribe to me. I will be throwing up more videos soon. Um, and yeah, this has been Lethal Flux, guys. Peace out.